Hi, I'm Cammie Davis, and my website is CammieDavis.com. I hope you go and check it out, which is C-A-M-M-Y Davis.com. I'm an artist and a designer, and today I'm going to show you um, how to hang a large, like a heavier piece of art onto the wall and have it on there securely. Um, you know, if I'm hanging larger paintings for exhibits and stuff, there's, you know, the, the simple things that you can do, but if you're actually putting it in a place long term, um, especially where somebody can get hurt, like above a bed or, um, like in a hallway or something or where somebody can bump against it. So I like to make sure that it's um, just secure onto the wall. So I'm going to show you how to do that. What I'm going to start by doing is putting a piece of wood um, across the top that I'll use to secure it onto the wall. I'm going to use the same um, sanded plywood that I've used around the side of the canvas because it works well in this instance. This is actually what it looks like. It's the sanded plywood. Um, this is what I use along the top of my canvas. But see, I'm going to put it like right here so I can use that to secure it. So I don't want to measure it just anywhere to check the width. I want to do it right where I'm going to put the wood. And just a nice stream of it, not overdoing it, but try not to get it on grandma's floor. Nail this right along the outside edge. Now I'm going to flip it over. And then I'm going to put a couple of nails across um, the top. I've given this a few minutes to dry and um, now I'm going to start working on the piece that I'm going to put onto the wall. So I cut a piece of the sanded board, um, it's probably about 18 inches long, you know, give me two points to put into the wall. And then I cut another board that was the same length and then um, the same width as this board and the one that I uh, put in for a holder. So it will go like this onto the wall with the screws and then the painting will hang onto it. So what I'm going to do is just glue this together before I drill the hole to put the screw through um, just to make it a little bit easier to work with. I'm just going to put some wood glue and then I'm just going to clamp it together. Make sure it's still lined up. There we go, and I'm just going to let it dry for, I don't know, probably 15 or 20 minutes. Um, another thing is after I cut the wood is I did take, and the same with this piece, is I did take a light sandpaper and just um, lightly sanded all the rough edges and stuff just to give it a, a more clean appearance. So I'm going to leave this here to dry and I'll be back. Okay, so I let this my piece of wood dry. I'm going to take the clamp off, and I'm going to draw, uh, drill two holes in it that I can put the screw through to attach it to the wall. I've got a piece of wood underneath. I am doing this in the house, so I've got to be careful. Mark where I want my holes. I'm just going to drill through these. I'm going to put anchors in. Um, the anchors that I've chosen to use today are medium duty anchors for hollow walls. And these are ones that I had out there, so I'm just went through to find out what would work the best for this project. So this is what they look like. And um, you take the screw out, you just start drilling a hole um, and then into the wall, and then you pound the anchor in and the screws out, and then you put the screw in and it opens up the anchor and secures it into the wall. However, I do need to find different screws to go in here because not only does it need to go into the into the wall, but I need one long enough to go through here and then into the anchor. So I've got to go find different screws too. I have a balance on top of the piece of wood that I'm going to um, use to secure the painting. I've um, balanced my piece of wood. I'm going to put my pencil through the holes that I've drilled and do a, a circle. I have my quarter inch drill bit. And then I have, um, it's a cup for laundry detergent and I just drilled a hole into the bottom of it and put this over my um, drill and that way I'm going to keep all the drywall dust from going all over the floor. I'm going to drill both of my holes and it says with this type of anchor that to just start the hole. Tap this into place. There we go. Okay, so I needed to find a screw that was long enough to both go all the way through both of the boards but then also into my anchor. So I came up with two of these. I'm going to put it through the hole that I drilled and then line it up with the anchor and screw it in. I'm not going to do it quite all the way until I have the other one lined up. Yeah, make sure I've got it going into the anchor. 
So this is the L bar that I made, or the bracket, I guess, the L, maybe the L bracket? I don't know. I never know what they're called, and I'm always making up my own names for everything anyway, so I guess I'll call it whatever the heck I feel like calling it. Um, this is the bracket that I made, and basically I took a half inch sanded plywood. Um, it was the same stuff that I happen to use on my painting, so it fit really well, but you just need to pick a piece of wood that's going to... Um, you know work with your painting. I'm just going to slip the painting over and then it's going to be solid and secure to the wall This is the piece I put across the top of the painting and it has this little pocket here Which is half of an inch and then it's the um, the inch and a half tall So the bracket is it's this is this part here is just going to slide really um, firmly over the bracket in place and I'm just going to slide my piece of art over the top of it put it flat up against the wall and then just slide it down gently make sure it's attached securely and see one of the things I really like about this is that I'm not gonna have to come back and adjust it and balance it and make sure it's level it's just gonna stay exactly as I place it and that's one of the really nice things about doing such a um, such a secure bracket. If you have any questions on how to make a bracket similar to what I did for a heavy piece of wall art, you can contact me. All my contact information is on my website. Thanks so much and good luck with your projects.